This is the EXA EM500 gaming mouse with RGB lights. If you're a packaging buff, you might be able to tell that this is raised printing over here. That's raised as well. The box is nicely appointed. And even over here, the entire mouse is raised as well. Let's take it out of the box. In the box, you get the user guide and the mouse itself. This is a super light gaming mouse, 68 grams or 2.39 ounces. Very, very, very lightweight right there. This is also available in black if you want. The cord is braided, as you see here, and also has a ferrite choke on the cord to help prevent interference, and of course just plugs in USB. The mouse has eight buttons, and they are programmable if you are using this with a PC. It does not program on the Mac. It has adjustable DPI, 800, 1600, 2400, 3200, 4600, 6000, and 12400 DPI. What's also nice about that is the lights in it, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, will change depending on the DPI that you choose. And as you can see right here, it lists what the particular colors for the particular DPI are. Now, you don't have to memorize these colors. You could just say, oh, I like it on the cyan color, or I like it on the green color, or I like it on the blue color, and just set it to that. It's that simple. If you want to change it, you can change it, and then when you're done using, you know, playing that game or using that application, whatever you want, you want to change it back to just regular mousing around and you like the blue, just change the DPI back until it shows blue again. Buttons are very nice. Nice clicky action. Of course, your scroll wheel, that clicks as well. Buttons really feel nice. That's really a quality feel right there. I like that. It's ergonomic, fits your hand forward and back buttons or whatever you want to select those to do stuff like that these buttons by the way are rated at 20 million clicks doesn't do us much good here so let's get a computer hook it up and test it out now obviously we all are here to see the rgb lights in it you can see that's just one out of six modes plus a seventh mode which is simply off I'll go through those in a little bit, but the DPI settings, you can use these buttons here, and like I said before, you can change it to the different colors, like that, and cycle through them. I'm going to go back to the green, and that's where we're going to start, and now I just want to show you the mouse pointer on the screen. So the mouse pointer is dead center, right over there, and this is at the lowest DPI setting. So if I go ahead and change that, now it moves around a bit faster. Now we're on the yellow mode, it moves around faster still. Cyan, now it's really zipping. Magenta is moving very fast. And white, it's zinging all over the place. Almost too hard to control, but indeed very high DPI. Let's now take a look at the RGB lights on it. On the bottom is the button to change the RGB modes. I'm just going to hold it uh, right like this so we can see it. So you have different modes that it's going to fade through. This is sort of just a breathing mode in yellow, which matches. So that's kind of nice. And this will sort of fade through to different colors as it goes through the gamut there. That's pretty neat. It's kind of got the Knight Rider effect going on there. I like that. And off. We're back to the original mode, or this is actually one we haven't seen yet, where it'll kind of strobe like that. It's kind of a nice effect. And this was the original mode. This is the software that will allow you to program the buttons. Really simple. It shows you different buttons, highlights them as you see there, so we'll do like left click, 
and you can change that from left click to right click, middle button, forward, backward, scroll up, scroll down, double click, three click, light mode, etc, etc, etc. So you can make anything, anything that you want, including the light mode switch, if you wanted to change that into a secret button, uh, if you will, like that. Under performance, you can set the various DPIs as such, just like that. So you have all of that. The light mode you can select from that. You can also change the various intensity and pulsation as you see there. And you can even set up macros for it as well. And there's an example of what the mouse looks like with the room lights out and the RGB. That way you get the idea with that. I'll go ahead and change the mode on there just to give you an idea. And that'll fade through the colors as we saw before. So if you like a mouse with a really, really light touch, this is the one right here. That is, I mean, you know, two and change ounces or 68 grams, whatever you prefer. Really super lightweight, feels extraordinarily light, very quick movements because you don't have a lot of mass to move around, and nicely appointed as well. An excellent gaming mouse, the EM500 model from EXA. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.